I'm joined now by Yark Shram de Jong, director at Crimson Wing. Yark, can you tell me a little bit about Crimson Wing and what you're doing here at North Print? Crimson Wing are a, uh, a large IT services provider. Uh, we have uh, probably in the region around 250 people, turnover around 17 million. Um, and we specialise in providing ELP software, e-commerce software and a level of custom development software to our clients. Today at Northprint, the focus is on one of our vertical markets. That vertical market is clearly the print industry. We provide solutions to print managers, print brokers and traditional print production companies alike. On the stand we see reference to ERP, but your competitors classify themselves as MIS solution providers. Could you please explain the difference between the two? Absolutely. There's a, there's a, there's a fine differentiation between the two. Um, and a lot of people would argue that actually they do very similar things. The traditional MIS route um, that a lot of people are, are currently deploying focuses really on, on the operational elements of a business. So for all intents and purposes, you tend to be looking at functionality that focuses on estimating through to planning, through to production, through to shipping a job out the door. Um, however, on that model, they tend to then find third-party software to focus on other application areas in the business such as finance, customer relationship management, HR, payroll, warehouse management and, and the like. The fundamental difference between ERP and MIS is that ERP is one solution that actually provides all the functionality for a business so that actually the business delivers end-to-end -end visibility, better access to information, better ability to make decisions what we're hearing is, is that people are no longer accepting the fact that actually there's limitations in their current systems and they're looking for the solution to provide the end-to-end -end functionality that the business is looking for. Our ERP solutions are based on Microsoft technologies. Microsoft technology is deployed globally. The ERP platforms are used within sort of 250,000 companies worldwide and today across Europe there's probably around 400 or so print companies who have actively moved away from the MIS model into ERP. And as I say, it is a fine differentiation but the end result is, is sizeable. So what are the tangible benefits that clients have seen since shifting from the traditional MIS solutions to the fuller ERP solutions? Um, again, that, is, that is, uh, is probably something that actually would be better um, uh, spoken to with our clients, but certainly some of the benefits that I've, I've heard a lot of our clients refer to is, 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 is one, clearly the ability to have full integrated access to their information. Take a, a very basic example, the fact that uh, there is seamless movement of data between finance and customer sales and marketing, allowing people to have a position and understanding of a client financial position prior to taking on new work, estimating for the sake of the argument. Um, we've got the ability to provide greater profitability visibility of jobs that are undertaken because of the seamless integration between say stock control, materials planning, procurement, um, warehouse management etc. Uh, we're seeing that people are demanding greater level of business intelligence again all of that goes hand in hand. Reduced cost of ownership because of the Microsoft technologies you're talking about user interfaces that people are familiar with so in terms of the adoption within a business people have greater visibility and understanding because they're familiar with many components, Microsoft Office, Exchange, Outlook, and these interfaces are exactly the same as that. Um, so yes, really you're looking at sort of reduced cost of ownership, end-to-end -end business, less dependency on multiple suppliers um, because you're talking about one provider to deliver all of it as opposed to three or four different companies that provide components of it. Um, and as a result of that, a more simplified workflow. So how are you able to support clients to adopt this type of approach? Again, that is a, a, a sort of an interesting concept because when you walk around these type of exhibitions you see a lot of kit providers, typically and today even more so, because kit is considered tangible, finance companies for the sake of the argument are more willing to provide finance because obviously they've got a tangible asset that they can allocate that against. Um, software has been notoriously difficult to secure finance for because it's considered intangible. Because these products are Microsoft based, Microsoft themselves provide finance for their own solutions and as a result of that we have access to Microsoft financing. Um, in addition to that, um, we also as a larger company than, than, than a lot of organisations that operate in this space have a greater ability to be flexible in terms of how we phase the deployment of the solutions because companies are able to actually activate the functionality that they want at a certain stage and as a result of that it means that they're not suddenly hit with the large-scale investment at one end and they're able to stagger it. 
the final element that is also significant is the fact that actually these type of investments need to be massively based on return on investment. And when we look at the return on investment analysis, if we can't work with our clients to provide them with a proper, proper, sensible return on investment um, case study, then it's actually not worth the clients investing in these kind of things. So when we look at the project value, a lot of clients will look just at the cost as opposed to what it's going to deliver, how it's going to pay for itself. If those two areas can be comfortably addressed, then we've got the access into something like Microsoft Finance, where indeed we are able to then finance the software investment, including services, any hardware that's needed, support maintenance contracts, upgrade agreements, etc. So, as I say, for software, we have a greater access to the ability to allow people to absorb these investments into their business than some of our competitors. Thank you very much, Yark. And if you'd like to know more information about the company, then please take a look at their website, crimsonwing.com.